Nancy Green. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair and the House members. Thank you for this chance to speak. It's been a long night, and uh, so many good things have been said. I just want to say the word fairness. Just as, uh, as legislators and as representatives of Rhode Islanders, to think of fairness. There is no argument to deny any p class of people a right that other people enjoy unless there is a compelling public interest. And what compelling public interest is there in denying some of our citizens the right to legally marry? Legal marriage is not just a right but a responsibility. They are asking to take financial, medical, legal responsibility for one another and a public committed relationship. What interest do we have in denying them? As a health care worker, I have seen people in nursing homes at end of life or with a grave illness. And the saddest thing, people, you can't hide that you are spouses. You can't hide that kind of love. And it wasn't that the staff was going to be cruel or discriminate. They just were afraid to say that they were not just roommates. And I saw people go through this when they had so much else, so much else grief in their life to add that to them. What justifies that? Uh, people had told me about legal measures they took to take responsibility for each other since they were denied marriage. Why? Why not just make a bold stroke and do the right thing for fairness and justice? I've been married for 30 years uh, to a man. Um, we're in interracial marriage. In 1967, the Supreme Court took a very bold move and struck down laws against interracial marriage all across the country. I completely believe that if this had been played out state to state, we would still be having ugly arguments about whether this was right, whether it was destructive, and, and religious arguments as well, because that is what we had not so long ago. So I'm just coming out to say, you know, as a Rhode Islander, I want to see all Rhode Islanders treated fairly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Green.